Have you ever had to set up a development environment from scratch? You have to install a ton of dependencies, probably a few tools along the way as well. It's not fun, it takes a lot of time, and it prevents you from being productive. This is where GitHub Codespaces comes in. GitHub Codespaces is built using Docker containers. As you'll see in my cloudwithchris.com GitHub repository, I have a Docker file and a devcontainer.json file. We're going to look through both of those now. This Docker file is no different to what you would expect if you were building an image for Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, or however you decide to host your containers in their end environment. We have a from statement, and I have a dependency on Golang as I'm using the Hugo static site generator. We have some arguments on which version of Hugo to use, and then a series of commands to run to download and patch the version of Hugo. We then use the Docker multi-stage build concept to copy the patched Hugo binary from the build stage into the VS Code dev container base image. We then install npm after the fact, as I have a dependency on npm in my application's build process. So a nice, quick and easy way for me to set up my development environment. But that's half of the picture. We also have this dev container.json file. This is a file which tells Visual Studio Code how to access or create a development container. This dev container is not just used in GitHub Code Spaces, but is also used in the Visual Studio Code Remote Containers extension, if you've ever used that. You can see properties like build arguments, settings for the development environment, extensions and forwarded ports. I consider this as a manifest that describes my desired development environment. So now let's go back to my repository and click this big green code button. Of course, we'll be used to using Git clone to create a local copy of the repository or GitHub desktop, but I now have access to this GitHub code spaces button. We're going to go ahead and spin up this environment. Well, actually, this is connecting to a container which is already running, as that was pretty quick, as you'll see there. Now you can see some of my previous commands in the terminal as well, so I can just continue exactly where I left off. But if we go ahead and create a new code space from scratch, we'll see the build process for that Docker container. You can see the code space is being initialized, and now begins to run through the build steps just like the build process for any Docker file. GitHub Codespaces is using that Docker file and the devcontainers.json file to construct a consistent development environment for us with our needed dependencies and desired workflow so that we can be productive and develop quickly. So now what we'll do is we'll take a look at that Visual Studio Code window once again. And I promise you, this is not a local instance of Visual Studio Code. This is running in my browser. Now you can see that I have a number of extensions installed. I have access to my code. These are the same extensions that are installed on my machine. And you can also see the previous commands that I executed in the terminal of this particular container. Now we can use the same workflow that we're used to, reviewing our branches, creating new branches of our code when needed as well. Remember, none of this is local. This is all running in a container in GitHub Codespaces. It is possible to connect to this GitHub Codespace from your local Visual Studio Code instance, though I'm running this directly from the browser. Now, when you're in the inner loop of your development, you don't necessarily want to keep committing codes to your repository to trigger your GitHub Action workflows or your CI CD pipelines. You'll want to try things in your dev environment before progressing. As I'm building a blog, I can access it from this GitHub address. GitHub Codespaces is forwarding port 1313, which is what Hugo uses, to this particular address. Not anyone can go and view that site though, as it requires authentication from me as a GitHub user. So when I type in Hugo serve with those additional parameters, this has started the Hugo runtime in this container. As I click that link, 
In the terminal, it took me to an instance of the website where I can make rapid changes and verify the result. Take a look at this as I change the title of the website and you'll see what I mean. So GitHub Codespaces has made it really easy for me to have a consistent, easy to provision dev environment which makes me productive quickly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.